Researchers hope these young Atlantic sturgeon will help bring the species back to Swedish waters, after they died out in the region nearly 100 years ago. Already years in the making, the team behind the Return of the Sturgeon project knows re-establishing the population could take longer than their lifetimes. I hope we're gonna re-establish uh, a healthy population here in River Elf. I know it's gonna take a long time and I will probably not be here to see it. But maybe if I'm lucky I'm gonna see the first spawners coming back here. Uh, and a healthy population is probably many years after that. Biologist Dan Calderon and project leader Linnea Jagrid are part of the team reintroducing young Atlantic sturgeon to Sweden's Jota Alf River. The biggest important of this project is to bring the species back, to give a signal to the world that we are actually able to get something back which is fantastic. Until the end of the 19th century, there were spawning populations of Atlantic sturgeon in Jota Alf. The species died out in the region mainly due to heavy fishing and deteriorating water quality. According to the return of the sturgeon project, the water quality today is much better, and the conditions are just right for the species to spawn in the river. Over 100 sturgeon were brought from a German breeding facility to Sweden for release. First we sedated them, and then we um, tagged them, uh, inside with a little surgery and then we healed them in a recovery um, tub and uh, they got a little floy tag, a little yellow floy tag. Those tags allow researchers to track the movement of the sturgeons with acoustic telemetry and the data will offer insights such as where the sturgeons feed. Rewilding Europe, a non-profit dedicated to bringing back endangered species, provided a grant for the project. Franz Scheppers is the group's executive director. But some species need help because they got extinct, they will never reach places. And the sturgeon is like other species, a keystone species that really helps to shape this marine estuary river ecosystem that we're here, that we're seeing here. Some of the young sturgeons were released in the Jota Al River on June 18th.